Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install a custom map on an ARC server. There are two different ways you can do so. One you can do through our startup panel and the other you can do manually and I'll show you how to do both in this tutorial. If you do it manually, you do have to use an FTP client, which I will have a link in the description to a video going over how to install and use an FTP client. First, from your Steam library, we're going to choose Arc Survival Evolved and go to the Workshop tab. We're going to scroll down and choose the See All button with the mods. And then we would choose a mod that we'd like to subscribe to and hit the green Subscribe button. When you do so, you are going to look for the Workshop ID and Map name. Most mods will have them listed somewhere in the description. We are just going to copy those down and then we're going to log into the Bicycle Toasting Games panel and choose our ARC server. We are then going to choose the red stop button to stop the server. Then we're going to go to the mods tab. And in the mods tab, we're going to look for where it says Steam Workshop Installer. And we're going to paste the mod ID into this installer and choose the install button. This may take a few minutes depending on the size of the mod. But once it's done installing, we're then going to go to the startup tab. In the startup tab, we're going to go to where it says server map and we're going to paste in the map name. Once we have that pasted in, we can go back to the console, start our server, and we will now have that custom map on our ARC server. We will now go over how to install the map manually. First, we're going to go to the Steam library and choose ARC Survival Evolved and go to the Workshop tab. Then we're going to scroll down until we see the See All button, the See All Mods, and we're going to go into a map that we would like to install on our server, and we can subscribe to it by clicking the green Subscribe button. We can also look for the workshop ID and map name in the description of most mods. Once we have those written down, we can then go back to the Steam library and we can right click ARC, go to manage and choose browse local files. Once this opens, we're going to go back to the Steam apps folder, then go to the workshop folder, then the content folder, and then we're going to choose the folder 346 one one zero that is the workshop folder for arc once here we're just going to go ahead and minimize this folder to use later and we're going to log into our bisect hosting games panel and choose the arc server we're then going to choose the red stop button to stop the server and then we are going to log into the arc server using our ftp client if you do not know how to do so i will have a video in the description going over how to once we've logged into the server with the ftp client we're going to look for the following directory shooter game, then the content folder, then the mods folder. Now we need to drag and drop the workshop ID folder from the minimized folder earlier into our mods folder on the server. So we will drag the workshop ID number that we have into the mods folder. Once we have that completely transferred over, we can go back to the games panel and go to the startup tab. From here, in the game mod IDs table, we're going to paste in that same workshop ID that we just dragged the folder from. If you already have IDs here, you just need to separate these by a comma. Once that's finished, we can go to where it says server map and we need to paste in the map name that we grabbed earlier into the server map. Once we have all of that, we can go back to the console, start our server, and we will have a custom map on our ARC server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.